Hey, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Carver. Today we are in our chicken unit. And so first things first, we need to break down a whole bird. So this video is going to show you the how-tos for fabricating a whole chicken. So let's get set up and get started. Here we have our basic setup for fabricating our chicken. Uh, real simple, we have our bird set out on our cutting board. The key to helping this process go really, really smoothly is allowing our bird to sit out for just a little bit uh, so it comes to uh, room temperature some, and then really patting it dry. So you see I've got some paper towels out. I've already kind of gone through and dried it really well, but as you're doing it, some tips, some things to really look for is to dry in the joints turn it around, get behind the leg so you can see uh, there's still some residual uh, fluid and juices from my chicken. So coming through again, making sure to really pat it dry because that's going to help it so it doesn't slide around uh, and makes it much more easy to manage. Okay, So even through the cavity of the bird, make sure to dry that out. Again, we don't want any excess fluids kind of floating around because it just makes our difficult our situation a little more difficult. A okay? clean work area is going to be a better work area. Okay. And of course, remember we're working with chickens, so cross contamination is always a concern. So with whatever it is you're doing with your paper towels, either having a trash bowl or someone off to the side, uh, make sure you keep track of that stuff. Okay. Uh, so we're going to make sure to clean up our area really well after this. Okay. From here, I also have my chef's knife and my uh, steel, so that way I can keep working on my chef's knives, keeping it honed as I go through the process. Okay? I also have a baking pan next to me, so as I break down the bird, I can move the cuts off to the side uh, that I will come to later that I've already finished. That way, that way I keep a nice, neat work surface to complete my tasks. Okay? So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to identify are the various segments and the pieces of the bird that we're going to be cutting off. Okay, so what we're going to be looking to do is fabricate this bird down to an eight piece chicken. So we have our breast meat, we have our wings. You see there's these nice little segments and joints right between our breast and our legs. So we have our legs and we turn our chicken over, we have a thigh. Okay, so those are our eight pieces, thigh, leg, breast, and wings. Okay, from there we could break this bird down even further if we wanted to, but it has benefits to knowing what it is that you're doing with this bird before you start cutting. Of course, uh, roasting a chicken whole is a great way to go. Uh, you can cook the whole thing together. It's a beautiful presentation. It's really easy to do once you know what you're doing. But from here, cutting it down into our various pieces is an economic way to go about handling chicken. This is something that me and my family do all the time. We buy whole birds and then break them down ourselves and then we are able to use them however we so choose. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do uh, with this bird for breaking it down, I'm gonna dry it up a little bit more. So here we have the spine of our bird, the tail, and our two legs. The first thing we're gonna do with our bird is remove the lower quarters. So the thigh and the chicken leg together. Okay, we're going to take this all off in just one piece and then we can break it down into our two cuts from there. One thing that's really important to identify, on the back of the spine, there's these two bulges of muscle. These are called the oysters. These are two pieces of meat that we want to make sure that we are including in our cut. Okay, so if I turn it over and I start moving those legs a little bit, you can kind of see these bulges of meat. Those are really tender, really delicious cuts of meat on the chicken. Okay. So be mindful of those. Turn the chicken back over. Then make sure it's nice and dry. And my chef's knife. And I'm gonna work on the left side first. So you see as I move this, we have this joint here. Okay. Our first cut is gonna be right through this skin. Okay, so take my knife. I'm not gonna press real hard. I'm just gonna cut the skin. Once you do that, it reveals there is space between the thigh and the breast. So this is where, again, we're talking about the segmented and the jointed parts of this bird. The muscle 
groups are not really connected together. Okay? We have our leg that's connected to a joint, which is then connected to the thigh, which is then connected to the spine. And from there, that's how we're going to break down our burden. So we've cut this uh, skin. We're just going to open that up and you can follow it. You see how the thigh goes all the way back to the spine. And we can follow that all the way to the top of our oyster. So this is where, again, it's important to know that that is there. I'll make a slight cut just to the top of the oyster to the spine. Okay, and you feel that there? Don't try to cut into it, just locate it. Okay. Turning it back to the side, and we'll kind of cut through just gently some of that connective tissue. Okay. Now, we need to expose where the joint is between the thigh and our spine. So this is going to be kind of a graphic point, but what we're going to do is we're going to get a good hold onto our thigh, placing our fingers next to the spine as leverage, and we're just going to bend that back until you see that ball joint pop. And this is the bone on the thigh. This is the point where we're going to be cutting through our meat and removing our quarter from the spine. Okay, so that's popped out. Now coming back to the spine where that oyster is, I'm going to keep my knife kind of flat parallel with the spine. I'm just going to make slight cuts and slices, riding kind of next to that spine, making sure to go through and get that meat of the oyster. and you just slide right through where that joint was. Okay. So now you see you have a nice, neat hind quarter for our chicken. Okay. Again, we're gonna set this off to the side and we'll break it down later. You can kind of see how that just is a nice, smooth cut. Now I move to the other side. It's the same process. I'm gonna do this one a little faster. Find that Loose skin between the leg and the breast. And we'll kind of turn it around so that I can work right-handed. Following that skin all the way down, locating that oyster. Cutting just the top of the oyster till we find that spine. Now we're to the spine, gonna grab the hold of that thigh and bend it back until that pops out. Again, showing us the path that we're gonna be cutting. Our oyster is here. Riding that spine all the way down. Okay. Again, part of this is just being confident in your cuts not pushing too hard, so you don't want to be cutting into that bone. Okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side. And there we have our chicken with the hind quarters or the lower quarters removed. I'm going to set this off to the side and we'll bring those thighs and legs back and we'll break those down a little further. We'll bring back our leg and thigh. So you could go ahead and cook this all as one piece. That'd be to make a beautiful presentation. The skin wraps around nicely. It'll crisp up really well. If you're wanting to separate these, really easy. We're going to turn it over so we can see the lower portion of our quarter. Now, again, we're looking for segments. So we have our chicken leg here. And you'll see there's this nice little line of fat right here. This is going to show you where that joint is between the thigh in the leg and that's where we're going to be cutting if you feel right here you can feel that joint and kind of where it has that little divot down and that's the point that we're going to be cutting through right here it's hard bone right here it's hard bone but right in the middle you have that cartilage and that's going to be the part that we're going to be able to cut through okay so if you just kind of pick it up drop it down don't move it around right through that joint Okay. And if you do it just right, you're going to get right through that cartilage and it's going to be a nice smooth cut. Okay. So there you have your chicken leg. 
And I'm just gonna wrap that up a little bit and you have your thigh. Okay, set that off. Show you again with the other thigh. Again, just kind of drop it down. Missed. My leg moved on me. So again, you have your thigh and you have your leg. Now with this one, I saw just a little extra fat. If you want to trim that off, you can. Feel free to clean it up however you like. I'm gonna set these off to the side. Clean up the cutting board. We'll bring our bird back to the cutting board. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move, remove the wings uh, from our bird. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to the spine. Now think of uh, hot wings, buffalo wings. This is the parts that we're going to be taking off. So we kind of open up your, the wings of the bird. You have the wing tips, the lower arm of the wing, and then the drumette. And the one thing that you have to be mindful of is this wing goes up pretty high up towards the spine and sits underneath the breast meat. So as we remove this, one of the things we're going to be really careful about is not cutting into that breast too much and trying to uh, save as much of this meat as we can. Okay. So looking at the spine uh, up towards me with the tail to me, I'm going to work on this left side. And again, moving it around a little bit, we're looking for those segments. We're looking for the parts where the bird is jointed together. So you can see kind of in the armpit here, that's where we're going to kind of work through. So what we're going to do is we're going to make little slices around our drumette, identifying where it's at, and then we'll try to find that joint. Okay, so I'm using the tip of my knife, and I'm just going to make small little flicks. Working my way around. I'll move it so you can kind of see a little better. Okay. So now, made a little cuts, and I'm starting to see the knuckle of our drumette. And if I kind of reach in and feel and move that wing, I can kind of feel where that pivot point is. So there's a nice little gap right here. That's where I'm going to cut through. Okay, so I've located that spot. I'm just going to cut through that. Once you've accessed that, that space, there is a bit of cartilage that you're going to have to cut through. It's going to be a little tougher. Okay, you'll see it once you get there. Just be ready to have to kind of push through just a little bit. Okay. And once you remove it, now you have okay, our two pieces of wings. So we'll set this off to the side, we'll break it down later. Again, one of the things we're looking for is trying to keep this breast meat intact as much as possible. So you can kind of see we have the breast and we have this nice little divot where that wing used to sit. Okay, so now we're gonna to go to the other side. Same process. Move it around a little bit, find that joint. We're not cutting too high up. Little flicks of the knife, small cuts. Find where that joint is. And once you've got that access, you'll find that that wing really kind of falls off without a whole lot of effort. And there's our second one. Now what we have left is simply uh, the breast meat on uh, the spine with everything else removed. Okay, I'm going to set this off the side. We'll break down those wing joints. Okay, so our first wing joint, we're going to flip it over so we can see the bottom side. So this one's going to be not really tougher, but you are cutting through uh, cartilage and soft bone. So there's going to be a little pressing uh, that you'll have to do. But again, finding that right spot is crucial. Okay, so first off, you have your wing tip. Again, if we move our wing a little bit, you can see the different joints. 
There's that one. If we move these two, we can identify right here our other joint that we're going to be cutting through. Okay. So moving around right here, right at the top. A nice, solid, confident stroke through our wingtip. Now this would be something that would be great to be saved. Uh, we can put this into uh, some water and we can make some stock. Uh, or making chicken noodle soup. This is a great piece to add in initially to get that really good chicken flavor. Okay, so we'll set this off to the side. Now we have our wing and our drumette that we're going to be cutting. Now if you separate it off a little bit, you can see where the meat is on our wing and how it comes down to the point where our drumette also curves down to a point. This is the area that we're going to cut through. We don't want to ruin the meat on either side. So finding that, that spot and slip, simply dropping your knife through. Okay. Set that off. We'll show you again on the second one. Move it around. Identify where those joints are. Okay. Helps to remember, utilize uh, the tip of your blade as an axis. There we go. Chicken tip, wing tip goes off to the side. Find that gap between the meat. If you find that you're cutting through and you hit and it doesn't cut through, stop, reassess where you're at, just like I did. You might just need to slide left to the right just a little bit to find your way through. Okay, so we have four beautiful wings. Clean up our board. Now we're gonna to get to the little trickier part. This is gonna be uh, removing the breast from the rest of our bird. Now. Uh, what I like to do is take the spine off first. It makes it just a little easier to get at uh, the breast. So what we do is we're going to stand it up. Make a little cut through that meat there. So rig through, you have rib cage uh, on the front and on the back of uh, the bird that come together on the side like this. And where those where those ribs meet, there's a little bit of cartilage in between. Those are the parts that we're going to be cutting through. Okay, so if you look through, here on the outside we have this little layer of fat. Again, the fat lines are what's going to be telling us where to cut. So that's where we're looking to cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife upside down and piercing from the inside out through that line of fat. Okay. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, my line of fats right there. Pierce it with my knife all the way through. And then from there, you just press the spine down to release some of those little ribs from the front. Okay. Now we're gonna be down to the point where our wings were there. Through the cartilage on the other side where our wings were cut through that and there we've removed our spine again this is a great piece that we can throw into some stock to give us really good chicken flavor from here uh, because of cutting through cartilage and some bone, I always do like to feel around these points. Make sure there's no cartilage kind of sitting in the meat. We don't want to get surprised later when we're eating our food and chomp down on a piece of bone. Okay, so it's all clean. Now we can turn our breast upside down and we have beautiful two-sided breasts with the bone still on it. Now what we're going to do is simply remove the breast from the bone of the breast. Remove the breast meat from the bone. Now, same as before, we're looking for the segments, we're looking for the uh, aspects of the chicken to tell us where to cut. So right down the center of the breast, we have the keel bone. And you'll see this nice
With that all done, hopefully you've seen how easy it is to break down a chicken. From here, the opportunities are endless. And it's a lot easier and it's a lot cheaper to buy a bird as a whole piece and then do the fabricating yourself. So this has been another episode of Cooking with Carpet. Join us next time as we cook this and make it delicious.